Okay, so oftentimes opera is performed and people don't know what they're hearing and they're expected to just understand it when that was never the expectation when it was originally performed in its original language in front of people who spoke that language, right? So there's a kind of elitism that naturally occurs when you perform opera for people who don't speak Italian when it's in Italian. So I'm trying to remove some of that because I love this art form. So Quando Menvo is from La Boheme, and Musetta is a very expensive girlfriend, and uh, she is not the main character, and she has a heart of gold, and in this aria in particular, she has arrived at the Cave Momus with her very expensive, um, very well-paying boyfriend, and she is making her artist ex-boyfriend very jealous, and she's saying, oh, when I go out, everyone looks at me, and I love it, and I'm so happy, and she says, I'm so happy twice. Felice mi fo, felice mi fo, in a way that really doesn't sound very happy, and I love that part of it because she's, she's showing her hand, she's saying, I'm showing off, I look fabulous, but I'm really pretty miserable without you. In the end, she does end up with him, but her best friend dies. <laughs> so in the next, the next one is from an opera I just completed, which is Lucia de Lamamor. And Lucia is, it's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, <laughs> it's really hard. Uh, and, and without putting too fine a point on it, and whether or not Donatetti knew this or not, um, Lucia had, acute schizophrenia. So in the beginning of the opera, she's talking about a ghost story, but then she talks about how she saw the ghost, how she saw the fountain of blood, and how the ghost spoke with her. And um, her maid is saying, what are you talking about? And that's in the middle of this opera. And if I go over to Electra in the middle of this aria, it's because I can't remember where the maid's parts were cut, because I haven't sung it without her. But um, there's this you know, there's this kind of erratic point where, where the maid then says, well, you, you need to end your crazy love affair with your brother's enemy. She says, no, he makes me so happy. Everything's great when we're together. And um, by the end of the opera, she ends up covered in the blood of the man she was forced to marry. She's murdered him. Um, so it doesn't end super well because people keep trying to tell her what to do and not caring. Yada, 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 mental health issues. So, this is... Reñaba nel silencio. It starts out with her talking about this ghost story and then saying the ghost spoke with her and then ending with, no, seriously, this, this ill-conceived love is definitely gonna solve all my problems.